Audiologist is, is someone who has at least a master's degree uh, to be certified to be an audiologist. Our description is to diagnose uh, hearing loss and different types of hearing loss and um, also treat hearing loss with hearing aids. The most common is what we call a sensory neural hearing loss. That, that's when there's damage to the inner ear. And really the only thing that can be done at that point is correction with hearing aids. Um, but during our testing, there, we rule out other types of hearing losses that potentially could be um, fixed by medically, surgi surgically. It's great to have the doctors right in the office with us. Uh, if there's ever a, a problem you know, that we can't resolve, it's wonderful to have the ear, nose, and throat right there, that we can just send them right down the hall to see. Most commonly, um, people will start to notice the hearing loss um, when they're in background noise. They'll often say that when they go into a restaurant or a, you know, like a group or a family setting, that they just have a hard time hearing, picking out the speech from the noise. Usually it's gonna affect, start to affect the high frequencies, so patients will also notice a loss of clarity of speech. Any type of competing background noise is gonna make it much harder to um, fill in the gaps. Or, you know, a lot of times, family or friends will see the hearing loss before the person themselves too. When I first started practicing 17 years ago, uh, most of the hearing aids were analog. I had a little screwdriver adjustment, uh, some potentiometers to cut and increase uh, high and low gain. Um, now they're all digital. Uh, which means they're just much more flexible to, uh, and precise to program for patients. Much better sound quality. Today's hearing aids have the ability uh, to focus more on the speech in front by picking the, the voices up in front of them and reducing the noise behind them. And the hearing aids work together, they're talking back and forth to find speech, reduce noise. A couple years ago they came out with rechargeable hearing aids, so that's been a game changer. You're able to stream TV to go right through your hearing aids. Or you can stream your cell phone to go right through the hearing aids. So if, if you're driving, it's great because it's hands-free. You have your hands on the wheel. And when you get a call on your cell phone, you have a little neck loop. And you just push a button and that answers the call. Real Ear Measurements is um, some equipment that we have in our office to really uh, allow us to get the most out of the hearing aid. It's uh, equipment that helps us verify that we're properly amplifying every frequency. Basically the first step is going to be to um, have an individual undergo an audiogram. That's where we measure their hearing threshold. So when we actually fit the hearing aid, what we do is we take a small probe tube, insert it down the ear canal, then we take the patient's hearing aid, put it back in their ear, and um, the end of the tube is basically resting between the tip of the hearing aid and the eardrum. And then uh, the real ear measurement equipment is going to produce a passage of speech. That speech is picked up by the hearing aid and um, the hearing aid does its thing. It amplifies the speech and um, the, tube is, the probe tube is in the canal uh, in order to basically gather and channel that sound output back to the real ear measurement equipment. And then on the screen, we have an, a reading of you know, how much volume a patient is getting pitch by pitch. We know whether it's adequate, if they need more or less. I see patients with hearing loss and a lot of them withdraw. You know, they, they're social people, but it's so hard for them to follow conversations that it's, it's just too hard to go into that setting and put themselves through that. So they tend to just stay home. Hearing is a very basic aspect of life and you know it's needed in basically every situation you go in so to be able to help a person hear better is very rewarding. What I want for my patients is to give them their hearing back and give them a lot of their, their social life back. Mm -hmm.